Hey folks, um, thanks for thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, my name is Hannes. I'm uh, one of the um, founders behind uh, one of the fastest growing apps in the Atlassian marketplace um, named uh, ChaxL. And uh, today I would like to give a quick intro to our um, lovely little um, app for Chira. Um, just two words about myself. Um, before working, before starting JXL, I actually worked um, for Atlassian for a couple of years in the beautiful Sydney headquarter, mostly on the uh, Chira platform team for Chira Cloud. And uh, even before that, and now we are kind of almost 10 years back, um, I actually worked on another app in the marketplace named um, Roadmaps for Chira, which was then later called uh, Portfolio for Chira, and now I think his back had uh, Roadmaps for Chira. Um, and uh, as some of you may know, um, that has been acquired by Atlassian. So um, you know, it's it's cool to go full circle on the on the Atlassian ecosystem and the Atlassian marketplace. Um, but that's kind of for another time. Um, while working for Atlassian, myself and, and my co-founder, who uh, also worked for Atlassian, um, obviously did a lot of thinking about how people can use Jira well and can get their job done using Jira. And um, we found it quite fascinating that there are um, a couple of interactions in Jira that are very, very easy, very, very smooth, right? Like if you think about dragging a, an issue from uh, in progress to done, I mean, it, it can't get any easier, right? Like you grab that, that issue, you move it over, done. But at the same time, there are certain interactions that are, that are really not quite as smooth and quite a bit of work and, and cost you quite a bit of time. Like imagine you have a list of issues and you want to update um, all of these issues. Um, what you will end up doing quite likely is you will end up opening one tab, opening another tab, opening a few more tabs, and then doing your changes to these issues. Um, now we did a, quite a bit of thinking, as I said, about how we can improve that. And uh, interestingly, we ended up with a concept that is almost as old as uh, personal computing, and that's spreadsheets. Um, spreadsheets we are all familiar with the with the big three, if you want, um, with um, Excel, with Google Sheets, with uh, Numbers. In a couple of years, in the recent couple of years, we actually saw a bit of a revival of spreadsheets with kind of a next-gen um, set of tools. Um, Airtable, there are similar offers by um, Google and Microsoft now. And we also saw um, spreadsheets or table views, if you want, um, to become kind of a table stake um, interface in, in many productivity products. Ah productivity tools, right? We saw tables um, in GitHub, we saw tables in, in Trello and many other productivity tools. Um, so why would um, Jira have to miss out on uh, a good spreadsheet view? Well, it doesn't have to. And this is where JXL comes in, um, which we built with the goal to combine the power of Jira with the familiarity and convenience of spreadsheet apps. Um, now, how does that look in action? Um, let's have a quick demo. Um, so, where I'm here now is I'm within a project in Jira. I already have JXL installed, and you see that in the sidebar, we have now introduced the concept of sheets. A sheet is a little bit similar to an agile board, if you're familiar with that concept, in that you can have an arbitrary number of sheets um, within your project. So, in this project, Assuming that the Wi-Fi doesn't fail me now. <coughs> so in this project, um, let's try again. There we go. In this project, we have uh, quite a few um, sheets. And um, if we edit um, the sheet, we see that the sheet really consists out of three things. A sheet has a title. Sure, everything needs to have a name. Um, a sheet has a JQL statement, which defines which issues um, are supposed to be part of the sheet. So in this case, we're actually pulling in issues from, from two projects, from work and OKR, and do a little bit of um, filtering on top of that. And then the third part, and arguably the most important part, is the column configuration. So depending on what use case you're trying to solve, depending on your problem, you can actually build your perfect table view by um, moving these columns around, by removing columns that you don't need, or by adding columns that you want to see. And each of these columns is essentially a, a piece of issue data. Can be a field, can be a custom field. Um, we have a couple of um, what we call um, special columns that are, um, that are not natively available. For example, a time and status 
there are a few more like that with, that we basically calculate for you and you can just use them. And when you're done configuring your perfect sheet, depending on what your use case, your problem is, um, I'm just going to cancel that, but normally you would save it. Um, now you can actually working on your issues in a way that is very, very similar to how um, Google Sheets or Excel works. So I can um, navigate around here. I can do my inline editing. So I'm just hitting enter, I'm making a change um, to one of my issues and confirming this change. And now I actually updated the issue. And I can do that with any field. I can do that with the priority. Um, let's switch that to high. I can perform a status transition. Um, let's move that to, um, to done um, and with any other field as well. Um, I can also do that in bulk. Um, I'm a terribly lazy person, so my favorite thing to do is to copy paste things. Um, and I can also do that in JXL. So let's say we want to change the priority of, um, let's say, these couple of issues. What I can do is I can simply copy um, one of these cells, select um, the cells I want to update, and do the paste shortcut. And now we just updated five issues can't really get any faster than that, right? And I can do that with any column. I can do that across columns. Um, I can do that across a spreadsheet app and JXL. It just works. Um, there's, of course, all the um, sorting and filtering interactions that you would expect. You can sort and filter um, any column. And um, if, you, if you really have to, you can still export it to, to Excel, um, for example, if you want to do some kind of a further, further processing. Um, I think that's kind of the basic spreadsheet interactions that you would expect. Um, what we did over the last couple of months is we added a couple of um, more advanced features on top of the basic spreadsheet capability. Um, for example, you can now um, add a so-called sum up um, row. So you can now see that at the very top of the sheet, um, there's this additional row, um, maybe a little bit small on the screen, but it basically um, gives you an aggregation of the values um, in that column. So, for example, we have a total of 273 um, hours in original estimate. If I would um, remove this estimate, then that number would update to 251. Um, I can combine that very, very elegantly with, um, with another feature with grouping. So I can group my issues by any field. Um, you see there's a, there's a very, very long list of, of fields. Um, maybe just do the assignee for now. And you can see that we have more of these um, special rows, for the lack of a better word, um, which now represent um, our grouping. So here we have um, the issues um, assigned to me. Here we have the issues assigned to my co-founder. And here we have a couple of unassigned issues. And that works for any field. Um, I can also view um, my issues in, in their default geo hierarchy. So if I enable um, this feature here, you will see that we see our issues um, in their epic story subtask structure. Um, I can also inline create um, issues that would then be inserted at the right um, position, of course. Um, so this is kind of the basic um, default hierarchy. I can even push it another step further and uh, define my own hierarchies or, or, or structures. Um, so here we have a couple of uh, custom um, definitions. If I look into this one, for example, you can see that here we have a fairly complex um, nesting of, of, of issues. So at the very bottom, we still have our um, epic story subtask hierarchy. On top of that, we are grouping our issues by their project. On top of that, we have another three hierarchy levels, um, very similar to, to advanced roadmaps, um, initiative, program, objective. And at the very, very top, um, we do a sum up. And we can have as many of these um, levels as we want. If we apply um, this one, you will see that we end up with a fairly sophisticated um, system of issues. right? So at the bottom, we have our epic story subtask situation. Then we are grouping um, by the project. Then we have another three hierarchy levels. And at the very top, um, we have another sum up row. And um, you, know, you may not need to set something up like this. It really depends on your use case, but you can set it, um, set it up. Um, yeah, I think that's the, that's the gist of it. If we just super quickly sum this up. Um, so in JXL, you, we introduced the concept of a sheet. You can have um, multiple sheets per project. Um, a sheet is essentially three things. A sheet has a title, a JQL statement, and a column configuration. Um, when you have created the sheet, um, you um, 
well, while while defining this column configuration, you're adding, removing, moving columns around, depending on what your use case is. When you're done with that, the actual fun part starts. You can actually start working on your issues. Um, you can view, edit, create issues. Um, you can highlight, sort, and filter, just as expected from a, from a spreadsheet app. Um, and my personal favorite feature, you can copy paste. And um, what we've seen, what we've added in the, in the last couple of months is some um, kind of advanced features on top of that, like issue structures and uh, sum up capabilities. Um, feedback so far has been really, really, really um, encouraging, really, really positive. Um, a couple of things that people really like about JXL, um, I think the first thing is it just really helps them to get stuff done. It really saves them a lot of time, a lot of clicks, and I think that's something that everybody um, appreciates. Um, JXL is also very, very fast, so um, it's kind of a bit of a passion topic of mine also when, when working at Atlassian Performance, it just, just matters. Um, JXL loads um, up to 10,000 issues in, into one sheet, and that takes um, about 10 seconds. When that's done, um, you, you will get a very, very snappy experience. I'm, I'm happy for you to try it out later. Um, scalability, another, another very, very important topic to, to myself. Um, JXL already runs on some of the largest cloud instances. Um, it may actually run on the largest cloud instance because it runs on an internal Atlassian um, instance, which I believe may be the largest one. Um, and uh, security, um, the way that, I don't wanna go too deep into the technical, technical details, but the way that JXL works um, means that your data never leaves your site. There is no services, there's no data that we store somewhere. Your data is really just Jira data. We really just call um, Jira endpoints to load the data, to show the data. So your data is 100% in, in Atlassian's hands and, uh, and safe. Um, well, that's kind of a, a quote that always makes me, makes me smile and gets me up in the morning. Um, that's um, from, from um, the head of IT of one of the uh, most innovative companies in the world, I think, who called um, JXL Sheets uh, a life-changing um, experience for him. That's, uh, that's a good one. Um, JXL is available in the marketplace um, for all, um, for all, how you call it, um, ways of using Jira for, for cloud, data center, and um, also server. Thank you very much. Um, if there's any more questions or if you want to kind of, you know, put your hands on it yourself, um, please find me outside at, at our booth. Um, and that is, that's it for me. Thanks. Thanks a lot.